All right, guys, welcome back. Writing one-step equations. All right, this is going to be a lot like writing expressions that we've already done, but this takes it to a, just a little bit different level. Remember, an equation has an equal sign. Remember, an expression did not. Really important for this video. Now, your objective as a student, you should be able to write one-step equations using all four operations. So we're going to be dealing with all of the operations. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to need graphic organizer number five. As you can see, that's what it looks like. If you don't grab the right one, it's not correct. Also, notice that I left some of them blank. All right, you're going to fill those in once I show them to you. All right, let's get started. Hopefully you've got it. If not, pause it. Go get it real quick. Here we go. This is the important vocabulary. Notice on yours, some of them are missing. You need to go ahead and write in the missing ones. For addition, we had more than, increase by, greater than, add, total, plus, and sum. For subtraction, we have decreased by, difference between, take away, less, subtract, less than, subtract from, and take away from. Remember, as you can tell, less than, subtract from, and take away from. These, once again, still have stars. It's incredibly important for when you're writing equations. We always need to remember that if they have a star, okay, less than, subtract from, and take away from, you're going to flip them around. All right, for multiplication, we have product, times, multiply, of, twice or double, triple. You could even add quadruple if you wanted to. And for division, we have quotient, divide, divided by, and split equally. If you do not have any of those written on that graphic organizer, now is the time. Let's move on. Okay, example number one. So how are we going to do this? Well, I like to do this in a very specific way. So here's what I'm going to tell you. Okay, we're going to read it first. 20 more than a number is 55. Now, anytime you see the word is, that actually gives you an equal sign. So that's going to be 55. All right, so if you see the word is, 20 more than a number is 55, that's your equal sign. And we have 55. Well, it's going to equal 55. All right. Well, let's look at the part on the left side. All right. Most everything else is on the left side of is, so we're going to keep it on the left side of is. So I'm going to write this part in purple. 20. Well, we know we're going to use 20. More than. Well, more than is one of those words. I'm pretty sure it's in the plus. 20 more than what? Well, 20 more than a number. Hmm. A number. Well, a number, we don't know what that number is. So that's our unknown, so we're going to use that as a variable. So I'm just going to use n. So what is my equation? Well, it's going to be 20 plus n equals 55. That's it. There you go. Example number two. Here we go. 9 less than a number is 20. All right, once again, we found is. That means equal. We have 20. There's 20. Now, at the top, we have 9 hmm, less than. Ooh, that means subtraction, and I'm pretty sure it has a star next to it. And it's less than what? Well, it's less than a number. What do I use when I don't know what the number is? A variable. I'm going to use n again. Now, because I had that star, I need to flip these two around. So I'm going to get n minus 9. So that is 9 less than a number n is 20. So there you go, 9 minus or n minus 9 equals 20. That's your answer. All right, example number 3. Here we go. A number minus 10 is 30. Once again, we found the letter or the word is. That means equal. It's equal to what? 30. It tells you that right there. Okay? A number. Well, what's a number? We don't know. So we're going to use a variable. n minus, well, that means minus 10. That's just n minus 10 equals 30. There you go. You could even solve it if you wanted to, but you don't need to. All right, we're just writing them this time. All right, here we go. Independent practice. You guys have two of them. Try these. Write them both on your graphic organizer. If there's space, I think there is. Write them on your graphic organizer. Try these two. Pause it when you're done. Restart it, and I'll tell you what they were. All right, here we go. A number three times, a number three times is 27. Okay, that's weird. So, here we go. Is means equal, 27. We have a number three times. So we're just taking the number and we're multiplying it by three. That's what it is. How do we really write that? Well, you would think n times three, but remember there was a rule to writing multiplication. 
the number had to come before the variable. So this one just means 3 times n equals 27. Hopefully you remembered that. If you didn't, this is your reminder. All right, the sum of a and 8 is 20. Once again, found is, that's our equal sign, and it's going to be what? Well, it's going to equal 20. Over here we have the sum. The sum means add. The sum of a mm -hmm, and 8. Well, we're going to add those two together. a plus 8 equals 20. And that's your answer. a plus 8 equals 20. Or you could have done 8 plus a equals 20. Does not matter. Either one is correct. Okay? And those are it. All right. Here you go. Exit ticket. Here's your three. You need to show these to me. Ladies and gentlemen, pretty easy video. Only going to last six minutes. When you're done with these, show them to me. Get them checked out. Good luck. Have a wonderful afternoon.